Hi everyone, Scorp continuing with the Duels to the Roses playthrough. Um, today I believe we are going against somebody that likes to burn, um, uh, just do a bunch of burn damage and kill you with it. So we're gonna do everything in our power to stay above one life point. <laughs> Um, I'm going to be honest, this shouldn't be too bad because he does not do well with water terrain. <laughs> and we're going to we're going to go ahead and make a lot of water terrain. <laughs> um I want to go up this one it's slightly easier for me. Um, and also up this aisle is, uh, up this column, is the hidden card. So, I want to go grab that. This is one of the ones that's kind of hard to get to. That's going to happen quite often in this fight against him. Uh, we'll just throw that there and flip Zone Eater. Donator's done its entire job. As long as he doesn't play like a Molten Behemoth, I think we're pretty good. Um, also, he's not going to be able to play any more cards anymore, so that's nice. Unless he moves something. Um, uh, unfortunate. Well, I guess he will play a card. And it's full. There's the gate dig. Uh, man, I I need this violent rain to um, attack the Bolton behemoth. So I don't really have a choice in the matter here, and I don't want to kill my bol boulder tortoise. Um, I'd like it to just be face up on the field for most of this game. Water train's just so good for me. Um, but now I can get rid of this violent rain. Oh, that didn't fuse. Hmm. Dang. Um, I'd like to put my deck leader right here. That would fuse. 
just wouldn't confuse him with anything good. This forward, this on the head. That's what I wanted to make. Uh, I don't want to get too many cards on the field, um, because if I do, he is going to um, play just desserts, and I'm going to take a ton of damage. Um, this guy kind of just puts you on a clock. Final Flame's not bad. It's a little damage. I believe this fusion works. If not, I'm about to be pretty sad. And I'm pretty sure this works right. Yep. So this is one of the this is one of those people you can't really try to deck out. Um, he just has way too much stuff that will uh, he can just too easily do too much damage from like tremendous fires and just desserts. And unless you have a huge pile of um, of like HP regen cards, which let's be honest kind of hard to have a huge pile of HP regen cards, especially at this point in the game. <laughs> Sir, this is going to do a lot of damage to you. Um, I'm confident just sitting here with Suogen. This fight's over. I'll hit it next turn, but see what it is. Oh. Um, a large portion of his deck is just absolute trash. Um, and then the rest of his deck is actually, like, super annoying brutal burn spells and molten behemoths. Um, but if you're using water, um, you can really just turn the field into water and then he has a bad day. I don't really want anything here, so I'm just gonna end up getting three cards out of this. Um, at least the Flame Viper will be a decent target for reincarnations or something. Or it's also a pretty good piece, or a pretty good card for uh, fusions into um, the Fire Kraken or whatever. Which in turn fuses well with dragons, but... Yeah, I'm not terribly interested in most of these cards. Um, Gate Deeg is pretty useful um, if you have a high summoning power deck. This deck doesn't really need it.
So we move on um, to Jasper Dice Tutor, aka Grandpa. Um, this man has a pretty decent card in his field. Um, Darkness approaches. Um, you can do a lot of really gnarly things with it. Just gonna throw this face up so I can continue getting towards Secretary of Defense. Every couple of turns helps. Um, here's another person that. Um, a large portion of his deck is pretty terrible, um, and then there's like, I don't know, like, three cards in it that are just absolutely disturbingly powerful. Um, number one being Cosmo Queen, number two being Skull Knight. Um, I think he has a Dark Elf in his deck. Having terrain change is unbelievably powerful, so, um, yeah, just using terrain changes to your advantage, super helpful. Uh, hopefully that attacks. Oh yeah, he also has a Mask of Shining Darkness. Forgot about that one. Darkness approaches. Uh, I did not draw well, but that's okay. I did draw a Violent Rain. Oh, they tied. It's unfortunate. Whether that's, I think that's paralyzed. No, nope, it's power decrease. This is a paralyze. I think this is three turns. No, okay. I forget what Nemarika does. Oh, it's permanent spellbinding of certain type. Oh yeah, and he has Soul of the Pure in his deck. Which is a lot of healing. I guess we'll just summon Crab Turtle next turn. Um, worst case, he just summons something and attacks me. Um, he'd have to at least play an equip card on a Cosmo Queen to kill me here. Ooh, 
invitation to a dark sleep. That's annoying. So I can kill him right now. Um, probably what I'm gonna do. Actually, does Crab Turtle with the quick kill? It does. Um, there's a very brutal deck in this game, um, using Invitation to a Dark Sleep, Swords of Revealing Light, and Ancient Jars. Um, if you ever want to really mess with the AI, or absolutely obliterate it. Probably not the best deck to use against another person, but it's pretty good. I'm really just trying to get multiple cards here, so... And I got double dark energy, unfortunate. If you get two of them in the slots, you only get one card. Sad. But yeah, today we're probably gonna cruise through a couple of these duels. Although I think this next duel is probably one that we're gonna take a while on. Um, because this is a person that has a pretty easy deck to kill every single card of. As long as you don't just get absolutely blown out by him, because he can absolutely nail some pain of Beast Cold Dragon, and you can just kind of cry about it. Who equips on something that's like level 4. Good thing I played this curse breaker. Ooh, double nails of bane too. Oof. That is terrifying. Okay, him getting rid of all of these um, Nails of Bane early, just got rid of three Nails of Bane, makes it much easier for me to um, basically just play the game. I'd rather make a Octa Dragon than um, have the have a Karyushin, so. damage to him. as a Serpent Night Dragon. Yeah, um, he plays some very powerful cards. Oh, I don't have enough star power for that. Hmm.
Um, do you be wary? This person does use Gravity Bind. So I think this might be Pegasus's AI, so... Um, just be careful about that. Congrats, you got two star power. Congrats. This should be 2450. But yeah, do be careful. Gravity Bind's annoying. easily fuse into beastal dragons, um, blue, uh, red eyes, uh, serpent knight dragons. Uh, this fusion is... I think that's serpent knight? See, I shouldn't have been very worried about that card. Rude. Seems like his AI. Oh, um, this isn't uh, Pegasus' AI. This is one of the Fabliers. I shouldn't know what I have face down. Oh, what awful hand. Um, sir, that's gonna cost you, like, a ton of life points. Just gonna eat it with. I don't really want to do that much damage to him. At least one of those is a Spiller Trap. Uh, this is two creatures I wouldn't mind having that buff on. I just want to get one, like, I'd like to get an Aqua Dragon again. I'm 
Yeah, I did make a Serpent Night Dragon. Um, I would also like him to summon a couple more cards so that um, I can use that Heavy Storm. To actually get rid of some stuff. I believe that last card down to the bottom left is a trap. Or at least some form of spell. This will work. Oh, I should have summoned it on top of Firecracken. Um, but one good thing about uh, this this opponent is he will go through his deck almost as fast, if not faster, than you can. Um, also, I'm pretty sure that the fusion for um, Crab Turtle involves a 30,000 um, year old turtle. I think I remember that correctly. He's definitely got a couple of traps down, so we'll have a storm. No, oh, three of them. I mean, ooh, double shadow spell and a bad reaction, Samachi. Well, now we only have to deal with like a gravity bind and um, another shadow spell. Donator is a good card. I do need to move my deck later closer to the crab turtle. Probably a monster. One of those two that was just played though is not a monster.
Oh, hey, a trihorn. I think that's fused like a Mori dragon plus a cursed dragon or something. Well, found the gravity bind. I'm pretty sure he only plays one. just made that weaker than it was beforehand and <sighs> I could really use like an aqua dragon right now um sir what are you doing with this card Twin-headed Thunder Dragon is kind of decent, so we can use that. And it's strong in Mountain Drain. And should beat up most of the things in his deck. Gonna be big. Oh, that's gonna be a B skull. He doesn't have many double fusions in his deck. Converting this last bit to water field is really, really good. did here. But, you know. It's probably overly ambitious to play it. The third boulder tortoise at this point in the game. Cursed Dragon. I don't like that. I don't like Wasteland Field. Um, he's in top deck mode, so he shouldn't be able to play too much really powerful stuff right now. Yeah. 
he's probably also going to start running low on star chips. Summoning power. Keeps playing five cost creatures. Um, he has two level reduction on his leader ability. But we're gonna run into that last shadow spell here pretty shortly. Fence? Good. Okay, so he should be just about out of cards um, at this point. There's not much he can really make anymore. I mean, he's got five cards left, so. Oh, found the shadow spell. Um, I'm pretty certain that all that he has left is traps. Or equips. There's always a chance that he has something more, but... I'm pretty sure he's out of out of the good stuff. Yeah. Out of the good stuff. Magic drain, horn of the unicorn, dragon treasure. Yeah. And he should be done. What was the last card? Probably another trap, I think. Call of the Grave. One of the worst traps in the game. Um, so I am going to just speed up through this um, and pause the recording so you guys don't have to watch all of it. So be right back. Okay, welcome back everyone. And down went Bakura. Ooh, I did not get a promotion on Boulder Tortoise. That is unfortunate. Um, yeah. Uh, Curse of Dragons are super nice to get. Um, yeah. Well, I'm in a safe state because um, I got the three in a row. Just want to see if there's anything I actually want because most of these I don't ever want. Or a royal decree will work. Royal decree is something that I'll probably just reincarnate for um, something. Maybe. I don't know. I usually don't end up reincarnating cards that are that expensive.
Um, next up is Yugi. Um, um, so out of all that, we got a Time Seal. One of my least favorite cards. It's just too expensive for what it does. Um, Curse of Dragon, if I were making a Twin Head of Thunder Dragon Turbo deck, definitely would be going after many of these. Um, Royal Decree, useful trap. Um, I'm using traps though, so it's not that good. Um, but this is a pretty solid card, especially if you want to reincarnate it. Um, but time to go after Yugi, and Yugi is... Yugi's annoying. He has three mirror forces, um, a Swords of Revealing Light, and um, uses Magician of Faiths to repeatedly grab back mirror forces. Um, if you're playing a plant deck, he ha the hidden card here is Anti-Magic Fragrance. It also will make him really easy to deal with. Um, if you can't deal with him for whatever reason... do something slightly different from that. Dang. Uh, let's use these. I really want it right here. Uh. Uh, so, quick talk about um, Yugi's monsters he has uh he'll make a magician of black to chaos by fusing karibo with um with dark magician uh he i think he also just plays magician of black chaos he plays dark magician um he'll play summon skull Tortoise and get a hit with it. It's so close to being Secretary of Defense. Deck leader ability decreases the power of themes um, and increases spellcasters. Um, I believe I don't remember which AI he's using. Um, it's I don't think it's Yuki's AI, but it might be Yuki's AI. I mean, Yuki's AI would definitely use the mirror forces. Probably gonna lose this turtle bird, but that's okay. I haven't drawn most of my good stuff yet, so um, the best thing that I've really drawn is violet rain, violet rain, and um, 
Oh, that's terrifying. Hey, there's one of my steel shells. Oh, um, don't... He also has change of hearts. He's probably actually using, uh, Pegasus's AI. There's the mirror force, number one. Oh, oh. I lost a little bit there, but that's okay. You're getting away with only getting like two for one by a mirror force. You're doing pretty decent. Um, technically, if I want to, I can just take the free win here. Um, the game's over because this AI is broken. It was broken. Okay. Uh, he also plays Dark Magician Girls. Eh. No, he hasn't super powered up anything that he's played yet so far, so. Ew, paralyzing potion. Good job, Tears of the Mermaid. don't have change of heart. Could also have spellbinding circles in his deck, I believe. So Yeah. Um Yugi's a just a pain. Oh, I didn't quite kill his condition of black chaos, that's unfortunate. Probably just gonna play something to attack into one of those and then I hope he has a mirror force. He 
He has nothing that'll attack two spaces, so I'm fine with this. Oh, hey, that's not a mirror force. So he shouldn't have a mirror force. Um, again, I'm going to be a little careful uh, of change of heart. Um, he could absolutely... I put you to a thousand, sir. <sighs> well, there goes another Mare Force. We're gonna end up dealing with like six mirror forces this game at this rate. Found the spellbinding circle. Let's just get rid of that. Turtle bird's kind of useless at this point. Uh, put this on this one. with a bunch of things here because he's probably got a third mirror force here. Oh, a negate attack. At least I'm not surprised by it. Oh, there goes a there's another mirror force. Oh, a Blackluster Soldier, huh? Um, I'm sick and tired of his Mirror Forces, so this should end the game. And that's how you beat Yugi. I, I'm sure I could have been uh, about a million times more aggressive and just tried to just overwhelmingly kill him real quick, but this turned out pretty well. Um, yeah. I got a Megamorph, that's good enough. I'll probably not use the Megamorph, but Megamorph's not a bad equip. I mean, it's an equip, so it's not bad. I don't think it should be 15 deck cost, I think it should be 10, along with the rest of the equips. Although, I think every single one of the equips should probably be 15. <laughs> Ah, 
of cutscene time. Okay, so I'm gonna save, um, and I'm gonna do a reincarnation, and I think we're about out of time because the, that guy is going to take a while to do a fight. Oh, it is worth 10 now. In Redux, didn't realize. So I, I'm, I have a second Ikaboon. I will reincarnate this, and I will be back with you guys in a minute. Okay, everyone, after several reincarnations. Um, I got an Aquaporus. Um, not the best, not the worst. But I think that's that was enough for me to say I wanted to stop. Um, before we go and do the last person, I think I'm going to call it here today. Um, and be kind of sad that I didn't get sec def on Boulder Tortoise. So, a little sad at that. Um, I would like to get it just because I would like to take everything that makes Boulder Tortoise out of this deck. Um, but otherwise, I mean, next episode it's going to be doing this guy. He's probably going to be actually slightly difficult. Um, and then we're going to start on the other side of the campaign. So, thanks everybody for watching, and have a nice day.